So I guess before we start talking about these weapons, all of them have 12.8 energy recharge. Now this seems good, right? 12.8% seems like a lot, but it really isn't. Like this is not going to be a game changer. This 12.8% is not a lot and I can prove it by just showing you that a three star weapon uh, there we go. A free star weapon at level 20 is also at 12.7. So that's like 1% of a difference in energy recharge. And it will go up once you when you level the weapon. Not when you ascend it, but when you level it, it will actually go up. So while it sounds nice, it's really not that big of a deal. Like the energy regen is nice, but it will only really help you if you're missing like 5 or 10% of your ultimate when you switch to your character or when you like end your combo so yeah it's nice but it's it's, it's not a it's not something to be really concerned about now go starting from the sword crit rate very nice 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 attack stat nice nice base attack 47 is pretty high from what i've seen like usually weapons have around like four star weapons have like around 30 something so 47 is actually very nice the crit rate is also always very nice increased energy regen very standard uh, when resonance skill is released, increases attack by 6%, stacking up to 2 times. This effect lasts 10 seconds. So obviously you would prefer to use it on a character who either has a very fast cooldown, cooldown on their skill, or who just can cast it twice. Right? And one character that comes to mind is the, uh, the character who doesn't have a cooldown at all on their skill, but they use their own HP to cast the skill. That seems very good for them. Other than that, I can't think of a single sword character that can cast their ability twice. So yeah, if you if you like that character, I would say go ahead for the sword. Other than that, it's just a nice stat stick. Now, moving on to the Razor. The Razor actually only has attack, which is a big downside. It doesn't have crit, it just has a attack buff. That is kind of meh, but it, it has the same base attack. Usually, when weapons have attack percentage as their substat, then they will have a lower base attack, but this also has 47, so take that as you will. Now what this does is when, when the skill is used, it also increases it increases damage instead of attack and by 7% instead of 6, and this lasts for 12 seconds instead of 10. Now one character that can use this is Kalcharo. Kalcharo does actually want to use his... he can recast his skill and does want to use it, but it's it's good for him, but it's not like tailor-made for him, you know? It's a good weapon for him, but, you know, he if, the, if it's stacked up to three times, he could have really, like, made this weapon shine. Other than that, I haven't really had much experience with Broadblade users. Uh, from what I know, Gian is also... I think he's a Broadblade user, and, like, his, his skill can only be used once and then goes on cooldown. So yeah, this is this doesn't really seem that good for Gian. So it, it, for Kalcharo, I would say if, if you got Kalcharo, this is a decent pickup. The attack is kind of meh, but other than that, yeah, it's, this is a pretty decent decent pickup. Now the pistols. The pistols also have crit rate, which is obviously good. That is more preferable than just normal attack. Uh, however, what is weird is this is a support weapon, right? Because it says when outro skill is released, increases the switch to resonator's attack by 10%, stacking up to one time. Don't so that's I don't know why it even says that it stacks up to one time. It should just say that it increases and that's it. Lasting for 14 seconds. Yeah, that is weird, right? Like it's a five-star weapon. I don't know why would you want to get unless if you really want to. I guess you could. If you're like a whale or something, a five-star support weapon would make sense. But if you're not a whale, you know, if you, if you have a limited amount of five-star weapons, I don't know why you would want a support weapon. Also, 10% attack is not that big of a deal. I'll put it this way: if you already have a good weapon for your DPSs. I guess you can consider this, but I would prioritize getting a good weapon for your DPSs before getting this, because this, again, this is more suited for a support than your actual DPS. Now, Abyss Surges. Abyss Surges are interesting, right? Because when hitting a target with resonance, skill increases basic attack damage by 10%, lasting for 8 seconds. When hitting a target with basic, increases resonance skill damage. Now, it does have just attack, but it does sound very good for Ling Yang because he wants to cast his burst and uh, you know get the lion's vigor then I think a lot of his damage is actually through 
his basics, right? Because he has the Furious Punch's basics. Uh, so he does want to alternate between using his skill and his basics, which that, that this seems like a weapon made for him, you know? If I'm being honest, it is, the, these like, gauntlets feel like a weapon specifically designed for Ling Yang. So if you've got him or you're planning to pick him up, you know, for the guaranteed uh, five star, that you get from this banner. I would definitely consider getting the gauntlets for him. Uh, so yeah, the very good, very good weapon if you have Ling Yang. If you don't have Ling Yang, I don't know if any other character could even benefit that much from that. And as the last thing, we have Cosmic Ripple. And that's what I was, the, the, this showcase is what I was talking about, where, you know, the 12% increase in attack, it does only have a 40 base attack. Uh, I don't know what the actual calculations are of what will get you more, the higher base but lower multiplier or the lower base but higher multiplier. I think it more depends on uh, your echoes, right? Because if you have echoes of a lot of attack percentage, then obviously having a higher base, even if the multiplier on the weapon is lower, will be more beneficial. But, you know, early on, where we can't really be picky with our stats and we probably won't have that much attack percentage in our echoes, I would say this, this would be probably more beneficial. However, this is a rectifier. From what I've seen, only really healers use rectifiers, and I think one damage dealer does. One five-star damage dealer, I think, uses a rectifier. Encore uses a rectifier. I don't think there's any other DPS that uses a rectifier. And when it comes to stats, it's actually pretty good. Hitting a target of basic attack increases basic damage by 3.2%, second to 5 times, this effect lasts for 8 seconds and can be triggered one time every 0.5 seconds. Now, going back to Encore, I did actually get her in the close the beta test, and from what I remember, you did want to use her uh, basics pretty often, because she she's very similar to Klee, from what I remember. Like, her burst was also pretty similar, where it made it so that your basics get, get follow-up damage, right? Like you do a basic and then you have like additional projectiles that hit the same opponent that you hit with your basic. Right, it wasn't the burst, it was skill. Burst was completely something else. Burst I think was the transformation. But it, yeah, yeah. It converts your basics and your heavy attacks, but they are still considered as basics and heavy attacks. So although they are technically the burst versions of them, they are still considered as a basic and as a heavy. So the weapon effect will work for Encore. So if you did get on Encore, I would say that this is a very nice pickup, right? Again, especially early on, since you do have that high attack multiplier with the lower base, which I, I explain my reasons why I think that is better early on. Yeah, that is all I have to say regarding those weapons. I don't think you will, you will be disappointed if you pick up any of these. So yeah, these are just my thoughts though. Let me know what you think about them.